Hey, what's up, Kudos Crew? It's Elizabeth Morosco. I hope you are having yet another amazing day today. I am just uh, wrapping up the day, getting ready to go pick up another kid, and then head into evening duties of mommy, of dinner and homework, and that whole slew of uh, good stuff. But I wanted to hop on here today and uh, share just a quick message with you that I was inspired a little bit after watching this video from uh, one of my favorite, I guess he's a vlogger or marketing extraordinaire, a guy named Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, who's out of New York. And he was doing a video this afternoon. It was talking about optimism and um, how he just naturally has a a really great disposition and positive outlook on life and it gave me moment to pause and to reflect on that for my own self and um, hopefully maybe you guys can get something out of it but throughout life all of us are ultimately going to go through different kinds of struggles uh, difficulties that happen and good things that happen to it happens to all of us um, it's that's what life is and usually through you know the struggles it's how we grow and that's what we learn from um, I don't know who had said it but uh, this it's something along the line of when we fail that's actually when you learn the most it's not through our successes but through our failures failures that we learn and grow and I um, anyhow so I was reflecting on that Gary V video that I watched this afternoon and uh, he was sharing how he was at probably an 80% capacity of being an optimistic person. And I believe um, at one point, I was one of those people too that would run at a full capacity of 80% um, pretty optimistic and positive. And then life happened. Um, if you follow me on uh, Facebook, um, you're probably familiar with the story that for several years, um, our, had, our family had gone through a series of multiple um, deaths from people that were a very close part of our inner circle. And I think at some point for me personally, um, I had shut down on some things as far as feeling the pain um, just to push through and to survive. But along that course, too, of shutting down to not feel the pain fully, um, you know, eventually you do over time, but it also shut down um, a capacity to fully love. And I started taking note of that some time ago and uh, started really looking at through this course of action of, you know, depriving myself of feeling pain of also depriving myself of feeling things that I really love. This is my Camp Murphy, he, he, he wants to make another grand appearance. Anyhow, um, but, but with that being said, um, this year I had really, just before this year I started really making a commitment that I was going to jump back in into challenging myself to start to really embrace the things that are happy um, in my life that are small, whether it's this furball cat that's begging to be fed. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> um, but, you know, taking a chance to really fall back in love with life again and um, doing it just like in simple things from enjoying, you know, a good cup of coffee to being able to, for the first time in a long time, really listen uh, when a friend would call out to talk about things that they're dealing with or facing. Um, but at one point, you know, I had hit like a complete 180 of um, losing that optimistic side. And it was, um, you know, it was a struggle I had to go through, but um, I think letting go of the positive thinking for a little while, you know, maybe had set me back. And so with that being said, you know, I think I've bounced back quite a bit. I'm probably back at like a 70% capacity um, of being optimistic. But 
um, probably need to work on the cynicism a little bit. Uh, so with that being said, a couple of things that I had taken away from um, some of these videos I had watched is, um, you know, starting to do daily affirmations again of, you know, starting my day with positive words of inspiration um, to maybe get outside of my own self and to um, revisit the things that bring me joy. And that's what I'm doing. I'm hitting this reset button um, this year and just really working on um, embracing, you know, the daily struggles are, are the ones that are, you know, you can get through. It's when you get these big overloads that you sometimes scratch your head and it can change your disposition. But at a certain point, I think everyone has the capacity within them to heal and to um, get to that point of being able to, um, you know, really enjoy life. And, and I wish that for you. Um, so, but with that being said, um, we, we have an amazing year lined up that we're going to share with our viewers on um, our Cup of Kudos page. So if you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to hit that like and follow button. Um, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram um, at Cup of Kudos. And uh, share it with your friends too. Um, so tomorrow at noon... Uh, sort of tying into what I was just talking about now, um, we are going to have, <laughs> say hi Murphy, let me see if I can get his cute face in here. We're going to have a special announcement that we're coming on tomorrow about noon. So if you can tune in, say hi. And um, hopefully you guys can be a part of this journey. I think it's going to be positive for a lot of people. And I look forward to sharing it uh, with all of you guys as well. Anyhow, in the meantime, bundle up, keep warm, and if you are um, on one of those difficult roads in life, um, the message I'd like you to hopefully take away from this is that nothing is permanent, um, even the darkest of times um, that you may be in, it will change and things do turn around. It um, sometimes feels like it can be an eternity or it's not even possible. But what I can tell you is change is constant, including when it's, um, you know, things that you don't want in your life. They, they do change. They do evolve into sometimes something that's bad into something that's wonderful. And anyhow, I guess this cat is not going to leave me alone until I go feed him. The dogs want nothing to do with me right now, which is really ironic. Because usually when I get home, they are right in my face. But um, today it happens to be this fabulous, very, <laughs> very thin cat all the way on the side. Ouch! <laughs> Anyhow. All right. Rebel Cat wants some food, so I'm going to go. But I wish you guys a great day. Keep warm. Tune in tomorrow at noon. We're going to have a quick announcement for you. And hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. Something you like. Um, if you are involved in a nonprofit or uh, work for a nonprofit or support of a nonprofit, tomorrow is something you're definitely going to want to tune in for. Um, so make sure you like and share this video. Give people a heads up that we'll be on tomorrow at noon with some good news for our community. All right, you guys, in the meantime, have a wonderful day. Keep warm. Take care. Bye.